uh, in Bangladesh, uh, we are a rice growing country. We are producing a huge amount of rice for our people. Uh, they are taking rice twice a day, um, and uh, this rice has got arsenic in it. So we are working on uh, how to reduce arsenic concentration in rice grains. Uh, back in our country, uh, we don't have a, a, a very good uh, research facilities, research laboratories to do uh, these types of research, analyzing samples for uh, arsenic species in uh, uh, water, uh, soil, and rice. Well, we're testing um, how silicon amendments, uh, particularly residues that are generated by the rice plant that are usually discarded, um, we've, we've seen in laboratory experiments that those are effective at decreasing the toxic form of arsenic in the grain. And what we want to do in the future is see how effective this would be on a field scale in a rice growing country. And so this collaboration, I think, works very nicely because it allows both of us to make our research stronger. This is what the rice grain looks like when it's taken off the plant. Then, then you open up the husk and get the grain that's inside. And you, what's left over is this material. This is the husk, the outer co covering. And this is an edible, um, but it's very silicon rich. In my country, we see uh, rice everywhere, but uh, that is a conventional system of growing rice. And uh, here, uh, there is no rice around, but uh, she made the uh, facilities here to grow rice. So after coming here, the first uh, thing I asked her uh, to see this rice patty sitting here. So I was so excited to come here. So these ones are the original 12 that we built that are flooded. And then we built those six um, on that side. These are our non-flooded patties. So we're testing in the flooded patties, the impacts of silicon on arsenic in the grain and on that side we're testing the difference between uh, water management, flooding, soil flooding on arsenic 